In this tutorial, we'll see how to do REST API put request from Ansible. First, we'll take a look into the documentation. So here, put request replaces an entire collection with a collection. If a member does not exist, it will create one. But you should be careful while using put request or post request. What will happen is if you do a put request for updating routing table, this will delete all the existing routing table and update only whatever we are giving. So you should be careful by using put or post. If you want to update some data, you need to use patch. Here in this example, we'll try to replace the host name of the device using put request. First, we'll take a look into the Yang suit API details. Under the native model, we can see host name. I'll click on generate API. Show API, and here we'll be able to see the API details for configuring host name. And this is the data format which we need to send for configuring host name. And this is a put request. I'll click on try it out. Before that, we'll verify the current hostname. Current hostname is CSR-173. I'll give CSR-new. Click on execute. And here we are getting a 204 response. The configuration is successful. I'll go to the device terminal. And here now we can see hostname has changed. And this is the data format which we need to send. And if you see the header, now we have one additional header content type. That is also application slash yang data plus JSON. This one was accept data now this is the format which we are sending to the device so now we need to set even the content type now we'll try this from postman change hosting this is a put request and i'm using same url which we have seen in the yang suit and i already added content type and within the message body, we can change the hostname. I'll give CSR-17.3. Send it. And here also we are getting 204. So server successfully processed the request. And it is responding 204. But by default, Ansible will be expecting 200 response. We'll see how to handle that as well using the status code. Now we'll write the playbook. I'll go to VS Code. Here I just copied and pasted the code from this previous example. We need to change the URL. I'll go to Postman and copy this. Slash hostname. And we'll be doing a put request. And here we need to give content hyphen type. I'll delete this. We need to delete this as well. And now here we need to pass even the message body. Let me go to postman here we can see the format first we'll try passing this in a row format and if you look into the python script we'll be able to see the details here they were creating a variable payload and that was getting passed in the data
so here i'll add the parameter for the and within that i'll just put this in a string format copy this paste it here csr hyphen new one so now we have changed the url method added the message body and the default body format is going to be raw even if you don't give it will be considering this as a raw data and then we have added content type and storing this into variable and we are printing it so let us try running this i'll give 03 run it so now if you notice here this is saying status code 204 was not 200 because of that it is showing us failed but if you check the device config this has updated the device but by default ansible is expecting status code 200 you can verify that in the documentation so here if you see the status code the default is 200 so it is considering 200 as the valid response now we can customize that using the parameter status code i'll give status code 204 save it and change the host name now task is not failing and we can verify the device configuration now this has changed the host name to csr hyphen new 2 but one thing what i noticed is Ansible is not able to determine whether this Rust API put call is making any changes to the device. Now, if you try running this again, changed is zero, and if I revert it back, still changed is zero. In this way, you can configure device using Rust API put method. In the next tutorial, we'll see the difference between body format row and body format JSON. That time, we'll see how to configure device even from a Jinja to template or pass this from a variable.